Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be covering all things fall as well as some of my other favorite beauty items which includes some of the hand treatments that I've been using that I love. If you happen to catch my short where I packed this camel toe concealer, I'm going to be showing you the before and after and if it really works. And make sure that you watch until the end because I'm going to be giving you a preview of all of my holiday decor that I'm already loving and setting up around the house so you're not going to want to miss that. As always, all of the links will be down below to shop. They will be numbered and I will try and give them a description so that you can easily shop anything that you potentially see in this video. Before we get started with all things that I'm loving for fall, I did want to give you guys an update. I attended the Amazon Summit in Las Vegas. They had so many fun activities there and so many good celebrity sightings. The highlight of my Summit Las Vegas trip was honestly watching Coco Rocha pose in person. It was supposed to be like a posing class for all of us, but I just basically stood there like in awe and just like watched her pose in work and she was honestly the most genuine hilarious human being like I was totally surprised at how much I adored her Amazon also took us over to the sphere for the U2 experience it is so crazy what AI can now do I mean it was so crazy it looked like you were honestly like attending a U2 concert it was like there was people clapping there was like holograms it was wild so if you're in vegas and you have a chance to check out the sphere i highly recommend it and then for our big wow guest celebrity that we had at the amazon summit was chloe kardashian she's always so funny and she keeps it so real but the big trending word that she gave us at the amazon summit was nostalgic christmas so we'll be getting into nostalgic Christmas a little bit later, but first off, I want to start with all of my favorite fall finds. So I want to recommend these two activities to you, whether you have kids, whether you have family in town, whether you want to do a girls night, or maybe you just want to do these activities like on your own, but making a fall candle is such a fun way to just like stay in on a cozy rainy day or just so great to just put on some music, have a peaceful vibe and do something creative. So I'm actually burning my fall candles here behind me they're making the room small so so great and i'm gonna put the video up here so that you guys can actually see the process that i make while using the candles you can either do the candle making starting kit or you can just get the wax and you know just put it like in um, a pyrex container and put it in the microwave but what i do recommend getting is a thermometer so that you can check the temperature i don't add the scent until the temperature drops to i think it's about 140 150 if you put the essential oils in when the temperature is too high there's just not going to be any smell to the candle. The temperature will burn the scent away. And the best part about making the candles at home is because when you are done with these glass jars, you can actually just remove all of the wax and they can become like table decor for Thanksgiving or decor around the house. So I just love the idea that these things are sustainable and then they can be used for other purposes. Okay, so now that we have the house all warm and cozy with our candles and everything is smelling like pumpkin spice and smelling like fall, the other super fun activity that I did with my kids was a caramel apple fondue pot. The kids and I came across this manufacturer that actually like manufactures caramel apples and we were getting them shipped once a year, but they were a small fortune. And then last year we sort of like got this really bad batch. So I was like, why don't we just make them ourselves this year? I actually homemade the caramel and it was so easy to do. I think I should have cooked it for a bit longer. Like the caramel was a little runny, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the recipe below anyways um, so that you guys can kind of play around with it. But honestly, don't be afraid of it. It was so easy to do. And the caramel tasted way better than any caramel I've ever had. We were just sort of like scooping it out of the fondue pot and eating it. Hence the waffle cones that I was like breaking up and also putting inside the kit because I love dipping waffle cones in caramel, there's something about it. So we were able to enjoy the apples like once they had all cooled off, but at the same time we were able to like dip things in the caramel and enjoy like as we went through and made the caramel apples. So again, such a fun way to just be nostalgic with this holiday season and have a really fun family fall activity to do as the weather you know starts to cool down and we enter more and more into the fall and holiday season. Next up, I wanna cover some of my favorite hydrating treatments. I've been really getting more into like hand treatments because they always say the first signs of aging are going to be your hands. So I just really wanna make sure that I'm taking really good care of not only my face, but my chest and my hands. And to keep maximum hydration on my face this winter season, I have been doing more of these deep collagen masks. They are so incredibly hydrating. And these are my two favorite brands. So I really love the Biodance and then I really love um, the Dr. Dart Plus. I feel like both of these are such a really great find to just keep your skin really hydrated and moisturized and really 
lock in everything that you need as we go through the winter season and it continues to get drier and drier. The other reason I like to have both of these masks on hand is because this one is only a 15 minute mask and this is a three to four hour. So if you don't have a ton of time, but you really need to do a face mask, this will be your best bet. This one is honestly just to put on and wear around the house. I don't know how people are sleeping in these. I've been seeing people saying that they're sleeping, but they move around in your face. So in my opinion, it's just one of those, like you have nothing to do that night and you're gonna binge watch a show, you're gonna put on this one. Another nighttime routine that I have added into my skincare treatment for the month would be a hand treatment. So I really love these two finds for the hand treatment. This is a peel away that you put on the back of your hand. So I like to go ahead and do this one first. This is a Korean skincare brand and it's honey infused. And once that mask is peeled off, then I like to go ahead and go in with this. This is sort of like that paraffin dip and it's like non-greasy. So when I take the gloves off, I just sort of rub everything in and my hands are super moisturized and it just really locks everything in and gives them like a beautiful glow up. For my cuticle care, I love to use this the oil roller. It's so easy to use. You just roll this right over your cuticles and it just dispenses just the right amount. And then it keeps your cuticles nice and hydrated. And also that skin around my fingers always gets so dry just from like doing different things around the house and doing dishes. So that's why I particularly like this one because it really just stays away all of that dry skin that builds up around your fingertips. Next up, I wanna cover a few things that I'm going to start trying out to see if I would like and to recommend. Last month, I told you guys about the Skylight calendar that I was excited to set up and try, and oh my gosh, it completely superseded any expectations of it that I had. This calendar has been incredible, keeping my family completely organized. Everyone has a different color on the schedule so that I can easily just flip through and see what time everyone needs to be picked up, dropped off, all of the things. Before this calendar, I would seriously just like show up somewhere an hour early or show up 30 minutes late. Like it just felt like a mess. There was just way too much going on and I just couldn't get everyone organized. The calendar also has a chore chart. So when I could just assign chores to the kids, whether it's clean your room or make your bed, once it's done, the kids can go over and just click that off and then it just shows them what they have up and coming or if they finish for the day. I also love this calendar because you can meal plan with it. You can also do grocery lists, which has been such a saver because both my husband and I were able to download the app. And so then we can both see the running grocery list. So if he's going to the store before me, he can pick it up or vice versa. So if you have a busy family schedule, I feel like this calendar is an absolute must have. So it's going to be a highly recommended. And I realized that they actually have a digital photo frame. It's like a photo sharing digital frame. So everyone I think can like cloud into this. So all the photos that you take on your phone actually go right into this. So you just download the app, the same with the calendar, and then the photos go right into um, this digital photo frame. So this one is actually already a gift that I'm going to be giving to my mom and to my dad. I am so excited to already be sharing this. So what I can easily do is since I will have um, control of the app as well, I can then get all of their photos of their grandbabies that they're always dying to see because we don't all live like super nearby, which is so sad because I'm so close to my parents. But it'll be so beautiful because then all of the memories that we're making from here, if I you know didn't happen to share on Facebook or something like that, then they can also have access to everything that we're doing more in real time. So I'm so excited to give this as a holiday gift already. And since I actually have the calendar, I already have access to the photo sharing. So when the calendar goes dark, it actually flips through all of our family photos already. So I already have like the luxury of having that. So I don't need one of these as well, but my retired parents, I also don't think need like a scheduled calendar. So that's kind of the trade off, but this would be a beautiful holiday gift to give to others. The next thing up that I am so excited to try and place in into my beauty routine is going to be this dry bikini shaver. I'm so sick of nicking myself in the shower with, you know, doing all of my wet products like my shower gel and then the razors. So I'm really excited to give this a try. This is also designed for bikini because as you can see, it has like two different blades here and then it also has like the trimmer here. And the best part is, I don't know if you saw the light here, that is so cool because you can easily see if you're getting every single hair. And I'm excited just to see if it gives such a close shave as like another razor does. So stay tuned with me on that one. But I did wanna say in combination with that, so every time I normally shave, my legs feel like extremely dry. And this is my 
favorite lotion. This has been my favorite lotion for years. I get so many compliments on how good I smell. It is so moisturizing, but this is the Philosophy Amazing Grace, and this is the Firming Body Emulsion. So it has like its own scent to it. There's many different scents, but it has to be the Firming Body Emulsion. But listen to this. This used to only be like an Ulta. So the fact that Amazon has ordered this into their premium beauty, so Amazon now stocks and carries this into their premium beauty. It's from Philosophy, the brand. It comes right from the brand and then Amazon, you know, distributes and ships. So, so excited to have this product on Amazon. So as I mentioned, everything that I am discussing here in this video will be linked below. So if you've liked anything so far, you can just check it out down below in the links and it'll take you right to that product and all of the, the details. So without further ado, I know you guys have all been waiting for this in the video. Let's take a look at the Camel Toe Concealers. So these actually come in a pack of three. They just stick right onto your area. So there's going to be like a sticky backing. If you guys have ever used like the ones for your nipples, you just like cover, they stick, they stay on all day, they're phenomenal. So this is kind of like a similar vibe. So I'm definitely gonna show you guys the before and after. I'm gonna show you the Camel Toe Concealer up close and personal. These are my favorite leggings and they're hard to wear because as you can see, Camel Toe. This is where I'm gonna be placing the Camel Toe Concealer. And as you can see, all fixed, these are looking so smooth, so fine and so much better. Oh, hi, sweetie. What you doing? Hi, puppies. They will be quiet because I'm filming. Okay? I love you. We, we can hear your tail. Yeah. As I mentioned, at our Amazon Summit meeting, Khloe Kardashian came out, said it herself, her number one thing that she is kind of doing for this holiday season, because if you do follow the Kardashians, they always try and outdo each other when it comes to the wrapping paper of gifts. Like I think Kim used her Skims collection and they're always trying to find the most obscure wrapping paper. But Khloe gave us a huge hint into her like wrapping vibe this year, which will be nostalgic Christmas. And she is not wrong because I have already seen a lot of the new releases that have dropped for what is coming for this holiday season. And there are the most adorable games that are like literally from my parents' era. So my mom, as a little girl, played Mystery Date. So when I saw this hit the market, I scooped that up so fast. I would not sleep on these. If you guys are interested, I would buy them now. So there's lots of different games, but when you open them up, they are completely like from, you know, they look very much from like the 50s, 60s, 70s, possibly even some of like the 80s, but you're gonna have like the classic clue board, the classic Monopoly. You're gonna have all the classic pieces as well, like they're metal, like they have all of the really good things, like the Connect Four I'm keeping for myself because I played that as a kid in the 90s. So don't sleep on these games. These are nostalgic and they will be perfect for your parents because they will take them and transport them back to when they were a kid and like how that looked when they were growing up. Another nostalgic Christmas find that I went ahead and wanted to give a try this year is going to be a colored tree. I always remember going over to my grandmother's house and she had a pink Christmas tree. I also remember after that one, I think she had a white one. But do you guys remember when one of the first ladies, remember she had, I think it was Eleanor Roosevelt, she had like that pink kitchen. So I think that that was kind of like my grandmother's way of like paying homage to that and like having the pink tree. So I remember a pink tree. I remember an, I remember a white tree. So I went for the pink this year. It was really, really fun to decorate and to style up. I put just like traditional little bows on the tree and just like hung a few ornaments because with the pink tree in general, it's very, very powerful and big anyway. So I didn't want to do like anything too fussy to top that off. And I wanted to just keep it in its like nostalgic elegance. There's also some really beautiful nostalgic wrapping paper that I'm looking into as Chloe mentioned just to kind of keep with the theme There's also bed sheets that I have been seeing out and then there's also different little pieces of holiday decor that you can set around your house So I will have all of those linked below as well um, with an idea list um, that shows kind of like nostalgic Christmas And hopefully you guys can find some like cool finds to just maybe like add some touches in this year You don't have to go like all out. It doesn't have to be a big thing, but just again bringing some nostalgia back into the holiday season and like sharing some beautiful memories with your family. And before I close, you guys, I do want to show you these ornament organizers that I have found for this season. These sold out like immediately last year. So last year, the first one on the scene was this very large box and I looked into it and it was over $100 at the time. And I think it honestly fit 
60 ornaments. And I was like, that is gonna be a little too much for me. So of course this year now, a ton more have flooded into the market. So I did a ton of research and these are my favorite organizers. Just based on size, based on adjustability, because I have many different size Christmas ornaments, you know, that we have throughout the years that the kids have made, that, you know, we've purchased. We actually, every time we go on vacation, instead of collecting like magnets or trinkets, we only collect Christmas ornaments. So we have our big family tree in the living room that's now like covered with all of our travels and all of the fun finds, like all the places that we've visited throughout the year uh, with these ornaments. So I needed ornament organizers um, in order to just kind of keep everything safe, keep everything together. And I like to coordinate by like the different colors that I have. So these are gonna be my two favorite organizers that I recommend. And again, I would pick these up before they really sell out. So that's gonna be it for me, you guys, with all things fall. And then I also gave you like that touch of holiday season because things just sell out so quickly. So if you liked hanging out, make sure that you subscribe because I do come out with several monthly videos. And I also like to do videos that just kind of show me going around and doing different things throughout the house. But I do also like to kind of give you guys the rundown of things that I'm loving and using here in my home. So that's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time.